Hello and uh, welcome to another vlog. My name is Marissa for those of you who are new here and oh man it is Monday <laughs> and I'm really really tired but whew. just got home from work and this week is an absolutely nuts week with my mom coming and grandmother coming into town our engagement pictures are going to be Thursday and I have a lot of work I need to get done in all aspects and I gotta clean up the apartment which we did over the weekend I, um, I'll link that previous vlog up in the eye and down below and I'm also trying to figure out outfits and makeup and all that hair for the engagement shoot I'm actually thinking about maybe doing this look I'm just kind of testing but I did that color pop like blue eyeliner I think it's in the shade DTL DTLA yeah, I've added it to my project pan. That's another one I'll link up in the eye and down below. And it is not lasting at all. You can kind of see. And the other thing too is like the mascara smearing. Like I don't think it was a good makeup day, but I think the products I used I think were okay. Something just was a miss. So this is just an option for that day. Well, since I've gotten home, I need to take Milo out as well as to clean up a little bit and then it's beautifully sunny outside as you can see from the natural light coming through my window and I'm gonna work a little bit on the laptop on the patio to get some sun since I'm in an office all day and I'm in a car like I'm I don't really have a whole lot of chance to go outside so I want to go outside so I think I'm gonna take the laptop outside on the patio oh. My, my eye makeup is just bugging me. I probably should just wash it off. I got some dishes to do and need to cook dinner. A lot of stuff going on tonight. I got laundry. Yeah. So, I'm going to go ahead and change, get a little more comfortable and in shorts. And I'm actually kind of warm and I'm wearing like jeans and stuff right now. And uh, go take Milo out and just kind of relax and kind of wind down a little bit while working on the computer. That was a really rambly intro, I am so sorry, <laughs> but I want to just kind of throw it on out there and I haven't talked a whole lot today, I've just been busy like glued to my computer at my at work and so it's like, ooh, I can get to finally say something kind of. <sighs> but I'm just so happy that the warmer weather is here, hoping it stays. Because I'm just so ready for summer. I don't know about you. I don't know about you, but I'm ready for summer. <laughs> but I'm um, I'm gonna go change and get started on my Monday evening. So I came out onto the patio to start doing the computer work, and look what has bloomed. Look, they're orange. So pretty. There's more over here too. That one's starting to go. They're gosh, they're so big so pretty and they're just growing and growing. I'm so excited.
so that didn't go as planned. One, um, I can barely see my computer, and I don't want to put on sunglasses again. Sunglasses tan. And then two, there's a wasp that decided just to fly around right by me. I'm usually pretty good about that stuff, but I, mm, mm, I don't want to play with that. <laughs> so I'm gonna work on the computer stuff in here for a little bit, and then um, because I just need to create a thumbnail and then schedule a video and then um, probably work on other things like for the wedding specifically. I probably wasn't even straight through all that. Cool. Um, yeah, so just had to move in here one because of uh, honestly because of the wasp more than anything. Uh, great way to start the week. Great way to start the week. Hey, it is the next day. I just got home from work. Um, I did something kind of different with my hair. I don't know if you can kind of tell. It's a little bit more wavy as like maybe an option for how I want to do it for tomorrow or not tomorrow, Thursday. Um, not really sure. Got to um, kind of playing around with that. Uh, the makeup I'm wearing, I hate it. So I'm definitely not going to do this. Uh, yeah. So I'm actually going to be doing one last trial tomorrow. I say trial, but like I'm going to be testing something else out tomorrow and then I will decide. And I do plan on doing like a get ready with me as well. So if that, I don't know if that video will go up beforehand, but anyways, if it is up, I will link it up in the I and down below. But I'm just exhausted today. I'm just kind of stressed. And so I think what I'm going to do today honestly is probably work i want to do something that just kind of makes me happy so i'm going to work on the uh dress and some other sewing stuff it's super windy and gloomy and i'm just kind of walking around my house i think <laughs> i'm just i don't know what to do right now i'm a little out of it i think what i'm going to do is just work on the sewing stuff i need to work on and just kind of chill it's it's gonna be a crazy weekend and constant go 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 so I think it it's just I need to chill I don't know just been really stressed out and I've just been really stressed out and trying to figure things out and wanting to make sure things are exactly the way I want it with you know with the mindset of like okay if it's not absolutely perfect it's okay like it'll still be fine um, and I know that's tough especially when it comes to wedding stuff so I've just been a little stressed, so I think I'm gonna take it easy. I'm gonna do something that really something I really enjoy, which is of course sewing. That's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna change, get in more comfy clothes, more comfortable clothes, I should say, and then just get after doing that. Yeah, I think that's the plan. Okay, so I figured I actually talked through what I'm actually trying to accomplish. <laughs> I think in a previous vlog, I only just did a, a time lapse. And so I figured I'd kind of talk through what's going on. So this is my grandmother's wedding dress. It is from 1962. I'm doing math right, yeah, 1962. Uh, this is also the dress that my mother has worn. And this is the first time actually it'll be on social media. I've been very secretive about what this dress looks like. One, because I don't want my fiance to know what this looks like. Um, he knows I am not wearing it, however, he knows I am going to be taking portraits in it. I really wanted to wear this dress, but after trying it on and all that, I just realized it is not my dress. And I talk about that in my wedding shopping video. Let me see if I can bring it over just a little bit here. Okay. And I talk about it a little bit in my wedding shopping, wedding dress shopping experience video. I'll link that up in the eye and down below. However, I'm going to take portraits in it so I can have that memory and it's it's just a beautiful dress. As you can see, it is very old. You can't really even see the discoloration a whole lot on here, but it is definitely very worn and the lace is very, 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 very delicate. So what I'm actually doing is repairing some of the pieces. I, I don't know if you can kind of see right here or maybe more so in here. The armholes are kind of coming apart a little bit and this like particularly right here like the whole panel of lace is actually coming off so what I'm doing is I am 
reattaching it and repairing it a little bit as much as I can. Also, you can, um, let's see, can you really see? You can kind of see that some of these beads are like the brown beads. Those are not supposed to be brown. <laughs> these are supposed to be, I believe, an ivory color from what I remember from the pictures. So what I'm actually doing is I will be replacing these with beads that I got on my shopping trip from this past weekend. Yeah, so it's actually gonna be these beads. These are by uh, Hildy and Joy. These are three millimeter beads. They're this like ivory pearl color and I think they'll go well with what the color of the dress is now. I'm not really doing anything else to like the skirt. It's mostly kind of focusing on the bodice and sleeve area because you'll definitely, it's, it's pretty noticeable. So that is what my goal is on this i'm trying like to be like very delicate with like moving it and things like that but yeah as you can see a lot of the lace um is kind of popping up there is lace the only thing like the only place that there's beading is up here on the neckline as well as in the back which i will be repairing um the zipper kind of came off down here which i have already repaired i'm wondering if you can kind of see yeah you can see the how the yellowing right here is it's pretty bad. It's discolored. I want to bleach it. However, I'm really afraid that it'll just disintegrate everything. So I'm just not going to do it. I'm, and also, I want to keep the vintage feel of it. But as you can see here, like the lace is straight up coming off here. It's coming off in the front armhole as well. My goal, honestly, is just to re-tack, like pretty much tack the lace back on to the sleeve and as much as I can in these areas um, I don't plan on wearing it for too long like I said it just would be for portraits so I don't foresee myself wearing it more than like 45 minutes just because of how delicate it is but yeah so I figured I'd kind of walk through what I'm doing and I guess if you have any questions on like how I sew it or anything like that you can leave comments down below and I can maybe do another video on that of like go in depth of how like I reattached everything um, but yeah, so I'm actually going to go ahead and just get started on repairing this. And I'm hoping my goal is to at least get halfway done with this today and before Jordan gets home. Wish me luck! <laughs>
watching and hear Milo, uh, is behind me. <laughs> but, um, let's see if I can maybe zoom in. Okay, so I've zoomed you guys in, like, really, really close on this bodice portion because I wanted to get the details. So there is some sequins on here and as well as these brown beading. As you can see, these are not supposed to be brown. They just turn color just from where at. So that's where I'm going to take these beads and replace these with, uh, replace it, replace them so it kind of refreshes and it'll look better for the pictures and stuff. So that's actually going to be my next task. So I'm going to kind of turn it a little bit and I'll kind of keep it zoomed in so you can kind of see what I'm doing. I'm actually going to just kind of be attempting something because it's been a while since I've done beadwork like this and so it'll definitely be interesting and in how I figure all this out so you are going to be learning as long with me on how I'm going to do this so first things first I'm going to actually take a shorter needle and I'm going to thread it okay so I am like really nervous to do this <laughs> which is probably why I have held off on actually doing this for so long, but I would, I just need to get it done. I need to get it done. I just don't, I mean, this is some, this is a garment that is so important to me and I don't want to ruin it and I want it to look nice and these portraits are just so important to me. Like there's no ifs, ands, or buts, this has to be perfect. So what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to start by taking a seam. Milo, do you mind? So I'm going to start by taking a seam reaper and just going to the thread that is actually holding the bead and seam rip that very carefully and take that off. Then I'm actually going to start with my little needle. I'm going to start the stitching. I hope I'm not covering. Oh, I am kind of covered. And I'm going to do this one at a time, one so I can make sure I can get the correct um, direction of how the bead is supposed to go and making sure I have the correct amount of beads in certain areas. Okay, so I have that. Okay, I'm going to stick that in. I'm going to take the bead. I believe that one, if I remember correctly, I'm going to go this, the, this way. There, that's much better and more zoomed in. So you can kind of see the color difference of the, yeah, you can barely see the beads because the sequins are picking up the light. But these two, you can definitely see the color difference. Yeah, that's going to look so much better. So I am going to go around and do that whole little flower. so excited that turned out what oh my gosh that turns out way better it's like oh like I get like the contrast like it's gonna be hard to see but that looks beautiful I am so excited so I'm pretty much gonna do the same kind of steps just for each thing and I don't know I'm like maybe debating adding more like is that crazy I'm debating adding more but at the same time, I kind of just like the way the patterns. I don't know. We'll see. I'll just do all, I'll place all the ones and then see if I want to add more. I'm really getting excited. Ugh. 
this honestly makes me even more excited to do like the garter and stuff so yep just gonna continue on and here let me zoom you guys out See, it looks so much better with the ivory being on it. Definitely refresh it. Made it definitely also look a lot more bridal. So yeah, all done. So excited. So now I just need to put this away and uh, take it out. The next time I'll take it out is for the pictures. Hello on this really gloomy, windy Texas day. I am just leaving work now and headed to go get my nails done. I haven't had my nails done since Thanksgiving. Yeah, I want to say Thanksgiving. So it's been a while and my nails are looking brutal. So I'm excited. I'm going to get a manicure and pedicure for tomorrow for the engagement pictures. Oh man, I'm so excited because I'm kind of trying to do maybe like a trial run for the wedding and seeing, okay, if I like this design, if that's what I want to do on that day. So I have an idea in my head. <sighs> yeah, so I think uh, what I'm thinking I'm going to do is like a French tip but adding like our, our colors. So like the navy and green. So it kind of incorporates it. Since I am gonna be in like white and ivory, or it's technically ivory. The dress is in warm ivory. That's the color. So I'm wanting to add a little bit of color because I just, I like prefer color <laughs> to be honest over just like plain white. Yeah. So. I'm really, really excited to get my nails done. I still have not picked out my outfits, so there's that. And I'm playing tonight, so... It's gonna be a busy evening. Not looking forward to it, <laughs> to be honest. I'm really not. <laughs> but do, doing nails can be very relaxing, and that can maybe get me re-energized to tackle what I need to tackle this evening. <laughs> okay, so I just finished and these are what my nails look like. What do we think? Not 100% on like the French length. I don't know, but they'll do. They're pretty. Um, but holy cow, for a regular pedicure, I think they kind of gypped me. But for regular pedicure and this was $125 without tip. Wow. That is insane to me. $135 with like, like one, no, sorry. $125 without tip. Wow. I honestly think, like, when I asked which one the pedicure was, and I know I should have said something, 
I think they only pointed to like the more expensive ones. I'm absolutely shocked and I'm kind of stressed. That's insane. Man, like no wonder like so many people are now like just doing nails at home and getting the like, kits and stuff. And I'm like been thinking about doing it because I do like the longer nails on me. I'm like shocked. Ooh. The, oof. And it's crazy, Sierra recommended them to me and they weren't bad, like the people were nice. Like they're obviously these came out as, you know, really decent. I was asking for something very specific. So, but wow, $125. Oh boy. Wow absolutely insane but i need to rush home let milo out grab some something quick to eat and head to my head to the game i'm like i'm just kind of like astonished like i was not expecting that truthfully but i mean nails are good it's for pictures but whew. oh boy Everything's all good to go. Um, I did film, which is probably what made me late. <laughs> um, I did film how I got ready. I will link that up in the eye and down below how I got this look. I'm really excited about it. Jordan's on the way. It's a beautiful day. It is 69 degrees and I'm so excited because it was storming last night and not fun. Not, 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 not fun, not pretty whatsoever. So I'm headed to the Dallas Arboretum now, and yeah, so. 
Happy Thursday. <laughs> Jeez. <laughs> changed obviously in my second outfit we are in romper the lulu's one i decided to get uh from uptown cheap steak and no cheap skate man i still can't figure that one out anyways so i'm actually gonna head home jordan's off to practice and yeah so it went really really well and i think the picture's gonna be fantastic if you want to check them out i'm going to post some on instagram so go over and follow me on app from hem to sim i'll link it up uh, i'll link it in the description box yeah so i'm gonna head home and maybe do a little bit more filming since i am already done up like why not and yeah and it's a beautiful day so i might be out on the patio editing for the rest of the evening that sounds like a good plan <laughs> oh man that was quite a day let's be honest Well, I am on my way to go to our dance lesson and my mother and grandmother are almost here. Oh man, it's so exciting. And our dance is coming along so good. I'm really excited about it and excited to show everybody. No one has seen it besides the instructor, not even like my roommate when we've been uh, practicing. No one. It's been, it's very secretive and I think like well we've practiced at his parents house and or Jordan's parents house and I think they've seen tidbits but nothing like they haven't like watched it so yeah oh, man. I'm just like I'm like exhausted I'm like tired I just, it's been a day it's honestly it's been a day it, honestly no it's been a week of constant chaos and I need to figure out why like I'm running late to things and why things are not like perfectly getting done the way I want them to and granted I use that word perfect like loosely I just I need to figure out what is causing that because I'm usually pretty punctual um, I usually have everything good to go like it's not as crazy at his, as it has been so I need to figure that out and I bet you it's because I'm getting distracted on my phone or getting distracted with other things that are things things that are not supposed to be distracting me. So I need to figure out how to be disciplined with that. But I'm gonna head, I'm gonna head over to dance class and then we're gonna go to dinner later. So you might not see me uh, for the rest of the vlog. Uh, I'll, pro I'll probably insert clips of us going to dinner. We're gonna go to barbecue. Yeah, so I will say sayonara for now. <laughs> if you enjoyed this vlog, it's crazy, crazy vlog. <laughs> uh, hit the like button and subscribe for new videos every single week. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you in my next one. Bye.